I just had a mental breakdown in the car to my mom about how stressed I am. Can you tell? <laughs> Good morning guys. I am sitting in what will be my classroom library. I just got to school. Um, I'm going to check my list of things to do today and hopefully take my computer over to my team teacher's room while I'm observing my students um, and get some of my monitoring binder set up. Um, but as far as decorations go, I want to get work done on the word wall. I want to get the objective wall done. I want to get the miscellaneous things that are sitting around sorted and into their homes and then I really want to get a lot done on my teachers area today so like buying organization for it and getting the pens and pencils and stuff that I want to use behind my desk um, just so that is fully functional for small groups on Monday um, I'm gonna leave the lettered library as it is and when I have friends here on the weekend I'm gonna help that I'm gonna make them help me sort because I need to pull all the books out make sure they're all in the right tub and then rearrange them all so that's gonna be like a task a task task and then after school today I plan on going shopping for some organizational things um, hopefully a rug for the front of my classroom that's a big thing that I need I need a um, whole group instruction meeting area and like I obviously have the space for it I just want something to like officially mark it so welcome to classroom setup day three um I'm gonna do this as its own video because days one and two were really long um so I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys probably closer to lunch okay so when I'm talking about getting my teacher area organized this is what I mean this is atrocious. This is not okay. <laughs> I need to get cute matching organization for all of this. I'm currently taking all this stuff out of this bags and sorting it um, into little piles. And I decided that that's gonna be my treasure box. I just need to get a label for it. This is indoor recess stuff. And these are gonna go on my windows. All right, it is lunchtime. I'm having my lunch in my classroom. I need a while to decompress. So I left the teacher's lounge. Um, I have recess duty. And then after that, I will have some free time to set up my room. And then I have to learn how to do dismissal duty. And then after that, school will be over and I'll be in full setup and get ready mode. So a lot of the day is dedicated to meeting students, being with students and learning my duties, which is great because I need that, but it's also unfortunate because I feel like I have no time in here to do the things I need to do. Okay, so I have about an hour till I need to be back at the school because I need to learn my dismissal process. And we have an after school meeting today that I just found out about, but I made a quick trip. Actually, it's not that quick because this place is kind of far to an educational supply store because I do need a teacher toolkit and some student mailboxes. I'm sure there are other things that I need, but I do want to at least get those because the teacher toolbox will help with organization a lot as far as what I have to do today. Um, and then after school, I'm gonna go see my mentor teacher and she's gonna get me some stuff that she collected from my old school um, since they have a ton of extra supplies. And I had to make this clip short because I have got to run in and go. There you go, you see the sign A to Z. They didn't have what I needed at that store, so I just got some whiteboards for my kiddos. I got 15 of those because they were a lot cheaper there than at Lakeshore Learning. I'm gonna make my objectives banner, and then I'm gonna go die cut the letters <coughs> for my word wall. Okay, so here's what I have. This is out of order. I don't know if I need to reprint the I and the S or if I can just cut straight and it'll be fine. So, they're like these cute block letters that I found on defont.com and then they're rainbow order and they're in these pennants um, and I'm going to cut out the pennants and then put them up there. So my team teacher just told my kids because they knew I was a new teacher but they weren't really quite sure why I was in their classroom. So she just broke the news that some of them will be switching to my class in the morning but that they'll all see her at some point in the day. And I think they're taking it pretty well. Not too sure on that. I mean, I wasn't in there when she told them, so for all I know, they could be angry about it, but hopefully that's not the case. And we will see come next week what the verdict is.
cute. Let me go test the size of this to make sure that it'll look normal up there and not take up too much room. They don't fit. Um, at least they don't fit with the pennant, but maybe if I cut out just the letters, they'll fit. So I think that's what I'm gonna do because I don't wanna waste all this paper and someone's using the printer right now. So I'm just gonna revamp my idea here. <laughs> Tell me that's not so satisfying. It's so cute and I like it in the little wave. Ooh. I'm gonna go see how I wanna hang this up. Okay, I just printed the words reading and writing on the colorful paper for under objectives, but I have to go help with car duty, so I will be back to room setup temporarily, or soon. It temporarily is not the right word for that. Either way, I'll be back soon. Well, it's 5.20. I haven't done anything in my classroom. The meeting took forever, and then, I mean, it was over important stuff, so I'm glad that I was there for it, but it took a while. And then I met with Miss Musa, who's been asking me, or not asking me, who's been answering all my questions. And we went over like a couple of important things and that took a while. And then I had to go to Michael's and I was seeing if they had a teacher toolbox and they didn't really have exactly what I wanted, but I got something that I think will work. Um, and now I'm at Target for the 50 millionth time because I've gotten all my stuff separated out enough to realize like I need paper storage for behind my desk, like paper shelves. Um, I went to that A to Z educational store today and they didn't have classroom mailboxes. So that's like a big thing on my li list. I need classroom mailboxes and I need table caddies. Um, my school wasn't able to provide me any pocket charts and the school, not the school, the school, yeah, the school supply place I went to today had pocket charts, but they're so expensive, I refuse to buy them. So hopefully someone figures something out and helps me. I don't know, I feel like with every step forward, I take 30 steps back, but I'm at Target. So I'm gonna go see what I can get. I just had a mental breakdown in the car to my mom about how stressed I am. Can you tell? <laughs> I'm back in my classroom. I ran my errands. I'm really gonna be okay. It's just a lot at once and I just feel like I'm not gonna get it done. But I'm sure every new teacher goes through this. I just have to power through. I have a little haul of stuff that I'm gonna show you guys after I eat my dinner because I packed that for tonight because I knew that I wanted to eat um, something healthy as opposed to getting fast food. So I'm gonna eat dinner and then I'm gonna crank some stuff out um, and be productive. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> okay, so I just finished cutting these out. I cut them out while I started dinner and listened to a podcast. <sighs> I think I'm gonna pick out the 13 colors that I'm gonna use for the alphabet on the word wall. I don't think I'm gonna go cut those quite yet. I'm gonna get these hung up and then I'm gonna reorganize this with the stuff I just bought over there. And I don't know if I will do anything past that, but that is what I want to accomplish right now. And they're up. I left this space bigger because we might put phonics goals on here. But for right now, this is what this looks like. I know these aren't straight. That's why I picked this font because I knew if I didn't um, level it, it would still look fine because they're like purpose they're like purposely mismatched. But <clears throat> that is my objectives board. This is the current project. This area over here, for sure. I've got to get some sort of organization figured out. <laughs> Okay, so I'm assuming student data is going to be kept back here or like stuff for me to pull my small groups is going to be kept on these shelves. 
But this is what this is looking like. The scotch laminator is not going to stay up there. It's probably going to go in a cabinet. But for right now, these are really nice teacher read aloud books. Um, I have a ton more at home, but these are what I have here right now that I don't want the kids to have access to. Spare cup, laminator, astrobytes, miscellaneous like record books, notebooks, stuff that I would write in and the kids wouldn't. Flare pins and an X-Acto knife. And then this is like binder clips staples this is like my teacher toolkit that i got at michael's these are stickers i need to find somewhere to put them and keep them but this is kind of what's going on right now okay so the last thing i did before i left is took all these books out bin by bin made sure they were all in the right letter and then condensed them into the least amount of tubs as possible one i'm gonna fix the color organization because that is horrendous and two, all these blank bins will now be able to house these chapter book series that we are just storing and waiting for kids to get to because my kids are getting to a point where they're approaching chapter book level. So it makes sense to have them out. And I would rather not have to get a whole nother shelf for chapter books. So if I can relabel all these tomorrow and put them in the colored bins that I want them, then all the chapter books can go on the bottom row. So I think that is my last task of the evening because it's 7 45 right now well guys i am back from the school i ran to the gym on my way home i got a little leg workout in and now i'm going to shower and crawl into bed and do it all again tomorrow um tomorrow should be a little bit more exciting because my mom is bringing in some of my decorations and some of my books that i've been collecting if you've seen my old book hauls um, and then my roommate, Ashley, is actually going to come when, um, I, when like school ends. Cause like, I obviously can't have her in the school while there's kids there, but once the school day ends, she's going to come help me out, um, and get some things done around the room. And that'll be the first guest that I have in my room, which is really, um, cool. Actually, my mom will see it in the middle of the day. So my mom and my, my best friend are going to see my classroom tomorrow, which is a lot of fun. I am feeling a lot better after my workout as far as stress levels go. So I'm off to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed day three of classroom setup and I will have day four up and ready for you soon.